So yeah, like people always when they target shoot, they're like, and they're shooting a target. But like, dude, you're walking through a mall, all of a sudden hear a bang, like you're gonna hit the ground. <laughs> This man has had quite the year. These are Sean Strickland's most savage moments of 2023. Enjoy. Hey, happy Thanksgiving, guys. Hey, hey, Brad, as a Hawaiian. Happy what is, Thanksgiving. What is your one message? Sean told me. Never trust a white man. Don't trust the white man. Of all people he knows, they come in here trying to get some corn. Yeah. Next thing they know, they take half the paycheck. Don't trust the man. And the white man's clever, you guys. Now they got the black man being the man. Now they're taking half our paycheck. Don't trust the man. So, you guys, I went to the PI today, and I ran into the fucking Cucky and Gary. Awkward, man. Awkward. He looked at me hard, you know. Security had to escort us around. Fucking awkward shit, right? I'm laughing my ass off. But anyways, Gary... I don't fucking hate you, dude. I actually like you. I think you're a fucking funny little dweeb. You make me fucking laugh. I think you're a dumbass fucking kid who got some pussy that was too good for him and it got in his head and it fucked you up and it fucked you up. I look at you like a victim. I don't want to fight you, bro. I'm happy for your success. I'm happy for you. But if you look at me hard and you're feeling some kind of way, if you're feeling like, if you're feeling some kind of way that you need to get this shit fucking handled and you want to look at me hard and, and that's what you want... Slide up in the DMs, bro. I don't want it, but if that's what you want, you know where to find me, man. Hey guys, I'm here at fucking Nigel Cross. I'm watching the buggy class, the big dick class. I'm gonna be racing this bitchy mark. I'm not gonna race. I'm gonna win. And I like to go fucking fast, which means I'm gonna win this bitch. I'm just out here with my boy Marvin Vittori, looking all metrosexual like, like he just walked out of Europe. Out here at Johnny Parsons, fighting diabetes and obesity. Yeah, let's go, let's see that belly. Strength coach. You're, you're representing the non-binary kind of bullshit, huh? All right, hey, don't get me kicked off Instagram. Yo, Costa, I think we should fight, bro. It fucking makes sense, you know. I don't know if you're drunk. You're going to be able to make weight if you're eating cookies. So let's make this shit happen. Enjoy. Me and Thunder Thumbs himself, you guys. We're here. I'm here. We're all here. Let's have a party. You guys, today was a very beautiful, good day. I'm a... So, you know, unlike, unlike Dreykus, who's probably a smarter man, the true African he is, I am not. You f***ing pay me, we'll fight right here. Is it the LeBron James money or how much? I mean, it's UFC money. It's never LeBron James money, guys. We're in the UFC. We're talking about, like... You know, I might be able to put a new lift kit on my truck money. Like, I might be able to upgrade my high-end accent to, like, you know. A Sonata? I don't know. Maybe, maybe like, a Ford, like, Mustang or some <laughs> car. Those but, are cool. Yeah. I had one. Oh, of course you had one. Look at you. <laughs> but, yeah, so anyways, you guys, I understand you, Dreykus. You know, I'm not going to hate on you. I know, I know you and Izzy have some personal issues with, you know, you being African and him being Chinese and him not happy about that. But I understand you. But I'm the man. I will fucking do it. Pay me money, and I'll fucking fight him for an hour straight. Or at least till somebody wakes up or goes to sleep. Fucking guys who, who can't box, wrestlers, like Jake Paul. I would, for $5 million, I would fight you to the fucking death. I'm not even, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. I'm, I'm being 100% serious. I would go to a deserted island with you today and fight you to the death for $5 million. But here's the thing about you, Jake Paul. You're a fucking coward. You're a little bitch. You're the, you're the you're the you're the you're the millennial YouTube generation. You just do shit for attention. You're a weak fuck, man, and you're gonna continue to be a weak fuck and make a shit ton of money. That I respect you for, but I also fucking hate you. Uh, I know Aljo's tough. Sean O'Malley is a fucking he's a simp. He's a fucking simp, you guys. He let you know uh you know six nine pro, right? You're a... Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. He let. That, oh God, we're back to this. He let that guy tattoo his fucking name across his neck, or his neck or arm or something. But he let, Wait. let six nine tattoo his name on him. Why? Because we he's don't, a it's, fucking I don't bitch. Know. Because it's, he's a fucking weak dick uh, motherfucker. And you maybe guys, he's like a big fan. But it doesn't matter. Like, are you? I don't. I, mean, I don't. Would you get Andrew Tate across your? You know, are you really gonna ask me to put that? F 
a wig on. Yeah. God damn it. Just for Don't, 10 why seconds. do you make me do this? Just for 10 seconds. Like, you know what Nina does? There's this, uh. 10 seconds. Sean, can you with your What Nina does is she tries to, she tries to compromise me. She yeah. tries to compromise me with shit like this. It's funny. <laughs> it's not funny, Nina. It's, it's, it's compromising. It's, it's, so, you guys, there's this, there's this, there's this cult. There's this, no, let me tell you. There's this cult. There's this cult in, in Vegas. It's called Khalil Roundtree's in it, Dominic Cruz in it. I'm not even joking. It's cool. Oh, uh, one. Uh, life choice. Life and choice. so what they do is they make you, they make like some of the more masculine men yeah. wear like a tutu and dance. Why? Why because do they do that? what they're trying to do is they're trying to break down their dignity to, to make, they're, they're, they're a f***ing cult. What you do, it's like what the military does. It's like you wear fatigues. They want to strip your identity to make you like that. That's stripping your identity? So what this is, Nina, what this is, you are trying to like almost strip me from a part of myself with this f***ing wig. But it's not a women's to, wig, it's a man's you're wig. You're trying to make me compromise myself. But you know what, at the end of the day, I'm a prostitute, so <laughs> I guess what dignity do I have left? All right, Nina, how's this thing go on? <laughs> this f***ing flag, you guys, your, your props really need to start. Wait, no, this is backwards. I think the, yeah, the group goes in the back. There you guys look back. Tarzan. It's Tarzan, everybody. Okay, literally. <laughs> so, girl, you want to? It's flirting. Oh, it's flirting. <laughs> Say something else. Oh man. Yeah, I don't know. I fucking hate. What? What is? I haven't flirted with a girl in a long time. Yet. <laughs> I yeah. I think. Oh, there we go. Mac America. Does that look good? Yeah, I think your actual hair looks better. You know, you guys, I'm going to tell you a story with my wig on. <laughs> okay. I was, I was in high school for a short period of time, for like a year. <laughs> and there was this guy. Yeah. And he got all the yeah. He got all the right? In high school. And I remember like, and I remember thinking to myself, like, why does this stupid motherfucker get like he just makes weird noises. He just does weird shit. And all the girls, all the girls just wanted to suck him off. And like they were they weren't funny. They weren't funny. So what I've realized is that when you talk to women and you want to get the <laughs> you just gotta one be non threatening. You know, mm -hmm. this non threatening. Non threatening. When I have a shaved head yeah. this now now yeah, I yeah. look now. Now if you ask me if I wanna yeah, I got the no. beard, but like <laughs> no. so anyways, back to the back to the beard. So what you gotta do if you want to get the p yeah, what you gotta there's a fuck, Jesus fucking Christ. What you what you want to do if you want to get the p you gotta be non-threatening. You <laughs> gotta you gotta be really non-threatening. You can't seem like you can't seem like that. Even though and I'll tell you what, I had a girl tell me once. I'm gonna take the wig off. Okay. I had a girl tell Thank me once. Thank you for putting it on. I had a girl tell me once. Sean. Yep. You're so much hotter with a shaved head. Okay. You know you guys. I'm gonna tell you a story. You told me. It's very forward. I said, yeah, very forward. Yeah. And she goes, but with the shaved head, you also scare me. Like you look like you might hit me. Oh, she you know, likes you... that. I don't know if she liked that. I think it scared her. Oh. So it's like it's a double-edged sword, you guys. With the shaved head, way more fuckable. Way more fuckable. But then I look scary. I look intimidating. I look like I have a criminal record. You know. Well, you do. <laughs> it could be a compliment to America, though, right? We're, we're all a bunch of fucking pussies. All right. We're not fucking done. Let's sack up! Get on the mat! Don't act like a woman! There's not many guys, middleweight, 170ers, who could like go have a war with me. So if I really want to bang, the best thing is to get a fresh heavyweight, get me tired, and just rotate them. How do you feel about the next fight? Oh, feel good, man. Feel good. It's always going to be a war. I think uh, the Dracus is like... Drykus is like so awkward he's good, where it's like, you know, I'm a million times better than him. I've sparred guys he's fought. I know who he is, but he's so awkward he's good. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a fucking war. He'll be a tougher fight than Chimaev. Chimaev, he doesn't fucking so We all know that. Like, the only reason why Chimaev gets that shot is because he sells off tickets. That's it. But in the day, man, uh, I'm happy with Drykus. It's gonna be the hell of a fight, and, and I'm just happy the UFC's doing the right things. He's next in line, he fucking deserves it. They've been doing a lot of fuckery lately with rankings and bullshit. It's just, it's just fucking wrong, man. Fucking wrong. We need to go back to like 
a professional sport where rankings matter because as of now we're doing that thank you for honoring the fans and what they want you guys and last thing before i go oh sorry <laughs> sorry smo <laughs> i got a little bit too close there anyways last thing before i go you guys you guys are fucking awesome i love you guys you guys you guys love me when i get knocked out you love me when i win you love me when I offend Helen. You love me when I insult Smo. And I love you for that, you fucking deranged bastards. Remember when we were talking about um, fighting is like having sex with a woman? Yes. Does that mean that Alex f***ed you? Oh, this f***ing bitch. <laughs> that, you, you f***ing. You were training with him, so does that make you his bitch? Oh, this f***ing bitch, dude. <laughs> I, I've never smacked a woman, but you're about to call me f***ing <laughs> represent for America. I'm trying to represent for Australia. Because I'll tell you what, Australians. I am more Australian than fucking Izzy. Izzy is a Chinese man. I ride motorcycles. I sell boats. I like sex with hot women. Izzy likes sex with dudes. Nothing wrong with that, Izzy. It's personal preference. I'm sure Snow might be into it. But, 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 I am an American. But I'm like crocodile mother... Dundee, you guys, I carry guns on me, I carry knives. I, I consider myself an honorary Australian. I mean, I'm a little bit more in the freedom department. I like freedom. You know, you guys are a little questionable there, but, but I would like to say that I am more of an Australian than the Chinese man is. Having a gun in a family pack is fucking useless. <laughs> Nah, motherfucker. <laughs> How long was his back attack cage for? Well, you were. I'm just saying. Where's your fucking urgency? <laughs> well, you did this, Sean. I don't want to, but you want to go again? You're not even trying to get up. Jiu -jitsu, no jujitsu. You wrestle, motherfucker. Bro, get the fuck up. You've been on the ground for a minute. Let's go. I didn't give him my back. You took my back. I don't give a fuck. Freaking out us. I like Coach Sean. I like Eric. Eric fucking motivates me. But I don't fucking need Eric to get rounds. I don't need Eric to do an extra round. He motivates me. He helps me. He gives me a third perspective. But sacking the fuck up and getting my rounds and working hard. That's on me, ain't on him. Everybody's right though. Everybody wants to fucking good work today. I got my ass in a few times today. Great attention to you, Marvin. Fucking you brought it. Fucking Marvin Vittorio was here to kill people. Good shit. Great shot to kill me for your ass. I had a fucking good round today, guys. This is fucking Tuesday. Be strong this week, man. I get killed. Oh, we got Brad. Hey, here's Brad Tavares. Hey! That's what I'm telling you. You're paralyzed on right side. You're being the hook. I was like, this is a good one. A lot of stand up, bro, just believe. Actually, really hurt today. Like, if you go in there thinking you're going to get fucked up, you get fucked up. For sure. I mean, you can still get fucked up no matter what, but it's going to be. But if you're hesitant, you're going to really go. Hey, Bravo, let me borrow you for a sec. T shit. Bro, Hey, story of Bravo, I'll never forget. It is Bravo. Oh, shit. How old are you, Bravo? Bravo, how old are you? I'm blind. Nigga, I've been blind since then. How old you been? Uh, 35 now. So Bravo is 35, I'm 32. I come to train with him, dude. I'm a kid. I'm like, I'm like 20. You know, I think I'm the best in the fucking world. I spar these guys, they beat the fuck out of me. So every day, bro, I'd go nice and be like, hello, Mr. Black Man. I'm like, bro. <laughs> literally. This explains his personality. <laughs> he's, got, he's got like pre like fucking bad prison experience. Bro, like, and then one day, I walked in and like, hey, fish, 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 fish. <laughs> bro, one day, one day, Bravo came up to me. He's like, Sean, it doesn't matter how nice you are to me. I'm still gonna fuck you up. And after that, I was like, Shout stop liking black people. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, he was like, you're right. That's what made him start. You did this. Yeah, he was like, he was like, I gotta fight like you. But after that, like, bro, <laughs> now, after that, I realized by me going in there as a nice guy, I'm already starting two pegs down. Right. I'm better off. Like, all right, fuck you. Let's bang them. That's what you want. At least now we're coming with equal intention as opposed to, all right, scary black man, don't hurt me. You know. Yes. Well, that was all. That was a hard lesson I learned in Linear with you guys. Fucking just because you're nice don't mean you're not gonna get fucked up. For sure. Hey, Pete, <laughs> hey, hey, back to your eyes are fucked up. You fucking Oh, here's the thing, you guys. I sorry, I don't want to go this way, smell, watch out. I'm not trying to thrust towards Helen's way, I'll thrust towards the cage way. I'm a little fat, you guys. I mean my conditioning's impeccable. I could fucking go all day long, all fucking night long. 
all morning long, multiple times a night. You guys get the fucking point. But the bad fact of the matter is, I'm a little fat, all right? Yeah, I'm a little fat. I'm not eating cupcakes, though. That's, that's not doing cupcakes. Well, speaking of something that's good coming up. I'll tell you what's going to happen. I'm going to come out. I'm going to fucking put my hands up like a fucking man. I'm going to punch him in the face. He's going to say, oh, shit. He's going to try to dry hump my fucking leg. I'm going to shove him down. I'm going to say, get the fuck up. And we're going to fight for five rounds. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, so, like, you know what? And, like, the thing is, dude, like, there's, like, no one's going to judge you guys for fucking a fat bitch. Oh, God. No. No, so it's like you got to start somewhere. So you little incels on the fucking tweet tweet, you know, posting the flags, living in, playing your fucking, playing your video games. Mm -hmm. Make a Tinder. Make a Bumble if you like the d***, you know. It's probably easier it's to get It's the late. other way around. It's, it's probably, Tinder's for... Is Bumble gay? Oh, no. Grinder's gay. Oh, Grinder. I don't fucking know. Like, Grindr's make it true. make a fucking Grinder, dude. I'm sure being gay is way easier. Gays love the fuck, you know. Well... I mean, yeah, the gays love the fuck. We get monkey pox. You ever met a straight man that had monkey pox? Oh, Anyways, okay. No, what, what I'm telling you guys, what I'm telling you guys, you got to start somewhere, dude. You got to start somewhere. Like, don't be going for the sixes like Nina. Don't be going for the sixes. Yeah, I'm not worth start it. Start with the ones. Start with the fat. Oh. Maybe disabled. And then work your way up. Work <laughs> your way up. Oh, build your confidence. Get your sixes. Oh, it's a compliment. Wow. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thanks, Joe. We got on your stomach on the bed, on your knees on the bed, or on your knees off the bed. <laughs> <laughs> what is the gayest way to eat okay. pussy? I gotta go with A. On your stomach on the bed is probably the gayest. What's way. the most like least gay? Knees off the bed. Why though? On your stomach <laughs> on the bed. Okay, so now I'm like, what are you like a fucking like a fucking teenage girl like on your bed with your friends? Talking? You're vulnerable. It's good, it's good. <laughs> like your ass is exposed. Like it. When they're on your knees on the floor, like, yeah, I could fight a man. Yeah. Like, so I'm not yeah, like, vulnerable. So here's the thing, like, if, if you're somebody this way, as like from a guy, if you're on your knees, if you throw your stomach on the bed, what's happening is pretty much another dude can just walk up behind you and fuck <laughs> Yes. That's but a, I'm like... That's a, that's a position to where, like, I didn't, I didn't end the chain, I am a link in the chain. <laughs> like, go, like, bam. Like, you have to end the chain. Someone walks in the room, babe, I'm in this power <laughs> position where I could get up and fight <laughs> this motherfucker. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I mean, God damn it, I drank the wrong cup. Yeah, I've drank a lot of piss before, <laughs> you guys. I've drank a lot of piss. You know it's a fucked up story? <laughs> oh my God. It's so oh, gross. It makes you want to throw up just thinking about it. It makes you want to throw up just thinking about it. So Why do day, you keep pissing in cups and putting the cat no, back on? No, let me Sean tell you. just pee. <laughs> and, like, it's just. Oh, I got dude, my throw up. You could and piss like uh, honestly like you just so, why do you keep pissing in cups so it's fucking gross so one day i was doing we were riding or i was working on something it was fucking hot oh it was hot and i walked into my brother's uh, room and i'm like i'm like just sweating and my brother and he didn't do this intentionally he didn't do this intentionally oh my god <laughs> he's like oh i have i have a gatorade in the refrigerator oh my god yellow gatorade don't yeah. ever trust the yellow gatorade <laughs> Oh my god, that's Anyways, so disgusting. So I'm like, I'm like dying of thirst, and I grab the yellow gator rig out of the refrigerator. And I open it, and I just take the <laughs> biggest fucking gulp of my brother's piss. <laughs> to this day. Oh my god, it's fun. To this day, guys, I still can't drink fucking yellow gator rig all the level of piss. <clears throat> but so what he did is he had it next to his nightstand, he pissed in it, and his wife did the good thing and put it back in the refrigerator. So it was unknowingly. Oh my god, that's so but, gross. Well, I think we've all drank piss one day or another. You know. Oh my god. I right, continue. I mean, I got a piss. Would you like to try some? Dude, why didn't you go to the bathroom if it was obviously it was in your house? The cup was in your house. Why didn't you go to the bathroom? Well, if no. It was, if someone said, oh, you know what? Here's yellow Gatorade. Let me put it in the fridge. You're clearing the fucking house. Why didn't you use the toilet? <laughs> Why did you have to piss in the cup? Why didn't you use the toilet? What? Your boyfriend doesn't have a piss bottle? No! <laughs> no! There's no bottle of piss. There's no piss bottle. The thing about Luke Rockhold, it's he's just a fucking bitch. Like, he's so pathetic. Like, we all know that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like... Me and Luke Rockwell go on a bar, 
he's gonna pull every chick there is. So like, I give him that benefit. But besides being a good looking guy, he's a fucking coward. He has no heart, he has no soul. I don't know how he got in a, a belt in the UFC. I don't know how lucky you have to get. I only said yes to you, Luke, because you were an easy payday. I sparred you and you fucking suck. You're a little bitch, I hate you one time and you walk off the mat. The only reason why I'm mad that you didn't fight me is because you took my easy payday and you walked away with it. So anyways, fuck you, Luke. Well, Dylan Dennis or Logan Paul? I think, I think <laughs> Dylan's a piece of shit, dude. That guy's, he's somebody I like to f That would be so fun, actually. <laughs> That'd be really nice. He gets under people's skin a lot, and yeah. that's, that's a talent in itself. I really like to f There's Dylan, I'll protect you with the shield. <laughs> why are you crying? I would love to <laughs> <laughs> It would be so nice. Just want him dead. <laughs> That's so fucking crazy. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey guys, all my clothes are fucked. I mean, covered in oil. All my jeans are ripped. I have no fucking clothes. They all say UFC, right? So I'm like, you know, I'm kind of a redneck. Let's let's go to the fucking boot barn. That's where the rednecks go. Man, eighty dollar fucking jeans, sixty dollar shirts. Like, how the fuck are you all shopping at the fucking boot barn? I go to Walmart. 200 bucks, dude. 200 bucks. I'm set. Like, three pairs of jeans, shirts, hoodies. Fucking Walmart, man. We don't appreciate the Walmart as much as we should. Let's go. Hey, true story about Greece, dude. I used to train with this boxer, and his uh, coach was Greece. I used to train with these hard ass dudes. I mean, one guy had a bullet shot, like gangbangers. Anyways. So the coach from Greece walks up to my buddy and kisses him right on the fucking lips. And they're like, he goes to kiss me on the lips. I'm like, well, we don't fucking do that here. So I'm a little questionable about Greece. America is just like, it's too easy sometimes. That like, it just breeds softness, you know? Yeah. Damn shame, damn shame. Pretty soon there's gonna be no Americans up in the UFC. That could be a compliment to America though, right? We're all a bunch of fucking pussies. All right. We're not fucking done. Let's sack up. Get on the mat. Don't act like a woman. It's a six. It's a, a six, maybe a five. But you got to work your way up to it. <laughs> <laughs> there's levels to this. Shit. Yeah, there's levels to you guys. You just can't. You just can't. You know. You just can't. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys, I maybe we could start a course on how to get. Yeah, we can do that. And let me tell you guys, get them. It's not a rocket science method. It's like fishing. You guys like to fish? Get it? The more lines you have oh, you out there. Did you get the joke? What? You had a joke. Uh, what was my Getting joke? He's like fishing. What was the joke? Because is isn't. Never mind. So, anyways, you guys, I don't fucking know. It's a woman, you know. You, you only want you only talk to him and listen when you're trying to get your fucking sucked. But <clears throat> let me tell you guys, get him. See, it's like fishing. It's like fishing. Throwing one line out. The bait. Throwing one line ain't gonna get you. You gotta put like five pulls out. So when you're when you're okay. in the process of getting. Yeah. One, you gotta learn pretend to listen to them, care what they have to say. Yep. And two, put out the lines, dude. All the fishing lines, every line, the Starbucks line, the Tinder line, the Instagram line. Throw yeah. out the fucking lines, you guys. Throw out the lines. You ain't gonna get no. You ain't gonna get no bites if you're not throwing out lines. Yeah. Worst case scenario, they say no. You gotta work for it. I mean, what was uh, what was your opening? Do you remember your opening uh, when you got when you got hitched up? What did he say? He said he said, "Baby, you're a six, but I could turn you into an eight. Yep. Yeah, that's what he said. Uh, continue. Uh, so you said that? Yeah, no, I definitely said that, dude. You guys need some. Um. And yeah, she makes me a better man, you guys. You know what? And every time I was just telling her this the other day, I tell my girl, I'm like, babe, every time I think about breaking up with you and I think about all the pussy I can get. I think about who I was before I met you. In the middle of the night, cleaning my fucking guns, thinking about overthrowing the government, thinking about all the ones who wronged me, making a fucking list. So as much as I like being single and getting all the pussy, you guys, my girl, she makes me a truly better man, and baby, I thank you for that. So no more shark pillows. That'd be super quick. Just Don't, do not fucking, go back there. Do not whip your up. Can you? I mean, I guess I could walk up. Just piss literally, right. you can't I'll just piss. piss. I'll Dude, piss right here, guys. Sean, it's, no, no. I'll piss. No, this is. I got to know Nina, and she's a fucking solid girl. Thank you. She is like, she's a fucking champion. She's not like. No, you're the champion. No, like she loves, she loves her boyfriend.
Man, stop hitting harder. Big Brazilian. So every time that I feel that way and I start letting blood boil and I start thinking about all these fucked up things, I have to tell myself, Sean, don't do that. Here you go. Have your microphone back. I thought you were going to say something about Israel and Palestine. Well, no, I'm saying like, you know, to me, like, I love to hate when they, well, I think when what, they showed that girl in the back of the truck, yeah. I was like, my initial thought was like, kill everybody, fucking mass graves, send in the fucking tanks, kill everybody. But then like, once you start dissecting and you start picking it up and you use your fucking brain and you start thinking, then you understand that there is such a complex issue at heart. But you, what it is, you have these fucking on the tweet tweet mm. and all they do is they repost these pictures of these horrendous things mm -hmm. and all of a sudden they start posting flags fuck you fuck you exactly like you said and, and it's such a complex issue that you know that by picking a side and posting a flag you're just being a fucking well i think it and had the goodness of her heart she found someone to give me a truck <laughs> she did. did. She did. And I told Nina, I won't accept that. It was a really nice truck. It was a really nice truck. Really, really but let nice me tell you guys. Brand new, 2020. It was, it was a really nice truck. truck. But here's the thing, guys. If I would have took that truck, and then every time you see me roll up to a fight, my badass $100,000 truck, I would be that that I despise. And I'll tell you guys why. I'll tell you guys why. <laughs> because <clears throat> we make you feel... The world, people with cameras in their face, make you feel inadequate. So I do not want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of the one that makes you feel inadequate. So if you're a construction worker working your fucking ass off making 40K, 50K, you can raise a family. You can raise a family. You can drive an old truck. You can make dinner. You can do all these things. So what I, I don't want to be part, I don't want to be part of the image that makes you feel like you need something new and better to be worthy. So that is why I drive my old vehicles and I enjoy them. I enjoy them, I like them. Well, well I, no, and I love your old vehicles, but the truck was because you're- I, <laughs> try, try it. I don't know if I want to, man. All right, all right, let me get this. You told me you have a foot fetish. I don't know if I can, no, no, I don't have a foot fetish. I mean, have I sucked on a few toes here and there? Yeah, but I mean, it's more of just like, why not try some shit? It's not something I want to do. I mean, you ever had your toes sucked on? No comment. Is Smo ever sucked on your toes? Try the chicken feet. That's a Smo's, you're talking about foot spread. I bet toes, Smo's all up on these little Chinese toes. I bet Smo eats her toes like I'm gonna eat this chicken feet. Oh my, God. there's fucking bones in it. How do you eat it? Oh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I've ate a lot. Of, I've ate a lot of gross things, a lot of gross things, and this is going on top. <laughs> oh, I'm done. I'm done. You win. Help. You, you enjoy that? Is that something you like to eat? Oh yeah, it's really good. It's good for you yeah. too. I understand. In, in China, sometimes it's hard to get food, but this is America, you guys. This is a Topic thrust this way. This is the land of the free. I eat McDonald's and fucking cheeseburgers. This is, this is what poor people eat, all right? I am past that now. I made money my last fight. I, I eat in and out like once a week, man. That's like $14 in and out. You guys need to fucking sponsor me with how much I eat there now. So anyways, you guys, yeah, I don't fuck with this. Yeah, and, and bro, you wanted to speak a little Cantonese. Oh, so. shit. Let's do it. Lay ho. Oh, I do like I do like the lay hoes. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that, is that good, lay hoes? I'm sure you guys like that word as well. What does it mean? Lay ho means hello. Oh, okay. So that was that his uh, was that Smo's first line when he met you. Hey, Helen, <laughs> lay ho. <laughs> All right, we're going away from the Cantonese guys. My name's not fucking Izzy, okay? <laughs> Well, I know all your fans are excited for it. Did you pick that word? Did you pick that word because it sounded like that? Or were you just kind of like spitballing that one? Like, did you have any thought in your mind that it sounds a little borderline sexual? I mean, in Cantonese, it doesn't. Oh, in Cantonese. That's what they all say. Sean. No, Jones, man, look at no, he didn't look at my titties. I had a jacket on. Did he? And I didn't suck any either to get that interview. I asked very politely if there was time available for me to have an interview. I don't get on my knees for anybody. 
Same way I asked you. I said, Sean, if baby, you have the you time. Got, baby, Sean, baby. God damn it! I said, baby, Sean, Sean, if you have any time while you're here, may I do an interview with you? Did I not? Maybe, maybe if you get on your knees, you'd be able to interview better people than me and John Jones. Hey, true story about Greece, dude. I used to train with this boxer, and his uh, coach was Greece. I used to train with these hard-ass dudes. Like, one guy had a bullet shot, like gangbangers. Anyways. So the coach from Greece walks up to my buddy and kisses him right on the fucking lips. And they're like, he goes to kiss me on the lips. I'm like, well, we don't fucking do that here. So I'm a little questionable about Greece. America is just like, it's too easy sometimes. That like, it just breeds softness, you know? Damn shame, damn shame. Pretty soon there's gonna be no Americans left in the UFC. That could be a compliment to America though, right? We're all a bunch of fucking pussies. All right. We're not fucking done. Let's sack up. Get on the mat. Don't act like a woman. Let me tell you one thing. Hate to me is my natural go-to. Like I, my nickname was Sean the Hate Strickland. Like it was like a, it was like a pseudo nickname. I never want, I didn't know. I never wanted to catch on. So I was like, every time someone would call me, I was like, you don't call me that. You know, there's some weird connotations for that. You guys. Anyways, now I'm gonna give you a bank back. Don't worry, your your boyfriend's yelling at me. Get my back. I'm. I just wanna. I just wanna say my piece. <clears throat> hate to me, you guys, is my natural state. I love to hate. Sh I love to hate someone with such a passion that you wanna fucking take a knife and just fucking cut through their throat. It feels so fucking good to hate somebody. Okay. It's like a drug. It's an addiction, and so that's like my natural state. So every time that I feel that way and I start letting blood boil and I start thinking about all these f***ed up things, I have to tell myself, Sean, don't do that. Here you go. Have your microphone back. Dylan Dennis or Logan Paul? I think, I think <laughs> Dylan's a piece of shit, dude. That guy's he's somebody I like to f***. That would be so fun, actually. <laughs> That'd be really nice. He gets under people's skin a lot, and yeah. that's, that's a talent in itself. I would really like to. There's Dylan, I'll protect you with the shield. Oh. <laughs> Why are you crying? I would love to <laughs> It would be so nice. Just want him dead. <laughs> That's so f***ing crazy. <laughs> what the f***? Yeah, she makes me a better man, you guys. You know what? And every time, I was just telling her this the other day. I tell my girl, I'm like, babe, every time I think about breaking up with you and I think about all the pussy I can get, I think about who I was before I met you. In the middle of the night, cleaning my fucking guns, thinking about overthrowing the government. Thinking about all the ones who wronged me, making a fucking list. So as much as I like being single and getting all the pussy, you guys, my girl, she makes me a truly better man, and baby, I thank you for that. So no more shark pillow. Oh, that's cool. Anyways, come on, I got you, bud. So anyways, these doctors, they peddle their fucking shit, you guys. I don't know if you remember this a couple of years ago when everybody was addicted to painkillers. Yes, I mean, it's still happening. My dad, my dad was so f***ed up on painkillers. He had every kind of cancer, and the doctor was like, how did you not know you had cancer? That level f***ed up. These doctors are f***ing They're not your allies. They're not your friends. They're a f***ing hand of the pharmaceutical industrial complex. Uh, yeah. And all they want to do is put you on medication and f*** you up, man. I can't. Doctors I... are the definition of trash. And by the way, most doctors you f***ing meet, <clears throat> they're usually f***ed up. I know a lot of doctors. They're usually f***ed up they love pain pills they love fucking drugs these guys are utter fucking i agree i don't disagree but like let's say you get into an accident and like your leg is severed off your body because you know you're on a motorcycle or whatever or like you get into a car accident or you have like a heart okay, disease or so like for instance for then, I'll, I'll tell you i'll then tell you guys. i think doctors all, delighted you guys morphine oh go. man i understand it's why people like heroin never done oh, heroin but 10 I naked delighted. ladies 10 naked ladies hugging what? you yeah, like, dude, when you're on Delighted, you guys, it's like it's Christmas ten. morning, dude. It's Christmas like having morning. ten naked f***ing ten just hugging. Just it's hugging nice. you. It's f***ing nice. If you ever want to get a horrible accident and don't want to do heroin, you should try Delighted, you know? I mean, I understand. Uh, I allegedly, understand. allegedly. He's not saying you should get into an accident and try Delighted. But I'm saying it's better than being a heroin addict. But after my accident, you guys. But you needed a doctor or your accident. No, after my accident, horrible surgery. Horrible oh. f***ing surgery. No. Missed part of my kneecap, it's torn, still torn. I tried biking it for two days after I got home to help me sleep. And after two days, I was like, this shit bullshit, and I threw it away. If I went to a doctor right now, I'm a fucking UFC champion as, as of now. They no. would give me a lifelong... He's a UFC champion. 
they would give me Period. a lifelong prescription for Vicodin. The, the, I cannot tell you how many of my fucking friends have lifelong prescriptions of painkillers because, oh, I had a knee surgery when I was in playing high school football, dude. These doctors, you become, man. You become addicted to it. These doctors are the fucking enemy, dude. Pain pills, dude, the fucking devil. So you said that? Yeah. God. Yeah, I threw it away. I threw it away. <laughs> we were wrestling. We were fucking wrestling. I'm going to get up for this. Oh, boy. And after, after, after he was like, you know, he's like yeah. against the wall, mm -hmm. he's like, Sean, mm -hmm. like, let me show you the single leg I learned in college. He, mm -hmm. He's a UFC fighter. But he has three legs. And his fucking dick is like down here. And he like, he wants, he wants me to, to get up on his leg. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, bro, like, I just cannot, like, I can't do what you're asking for me. I'm not going to, I'm you. not going to put my head against your Like. He's so used to it. He didn't realize what he yeah, was asking. So, what I'm saying, you guys, the of the story is, these small d guys, man, one, it sucks, you know, I've been that club, and two, wear a fucking cup. No wear one cup. wants to get slapped in the fucking face with a d No. Oh, is there one more thing in the bag? One thing I thought was really cool is that you didn't post a lot of, uh, like, post, you didn't rub it in anyone's face. Like, you won, you, there was, like, a cool edit that you posted of the fight, like a highlight compilation, and then you kind of just kept kept on with your life. A lot of people, when they win, they post, 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 yeah, and they you just know, talk dude, about it, talk about it. Talk I don't want to shit on Izzy. Like, like, I don't want to shit on Izzy. Like, fights are fight. It's fun to talk shit, dude. But after, like, you know, after you lose, man, it's fucking it's rough. It's like your whole entire world just fucking shatters for that moment. Like, I have no desire to, to make you feel like and there also is like a certain level of trauma that I've experienced as a child that it's hard for me to look back on memories. But yeah, no, I I don't want to fucking make Izzy feel worse than you. I mean, fucking A, dude. Like, could you imagine Izzy, you guys, he has all the money. He probably gets all that dog. He probably gets all that puppy play. But could you imagine waking up and being fucking Izzy? Like, you denounce your country. People fucking hate you. They see you for what you are. Like, I, I actually feel kind of, I kind of feel bad for the guy that like, you know, that he's just so fing unlikable. So I hear you see enjoying the glamorous world of fighting. What's your name, man? Nelly. Nelly? Nelly? I like your glasses, bro. Fucking you look Ooh, like God, you look like you got them at a Halloween store. <laughs> bro, you never heard of fu hey. you ever heard of fucking tweezers? Maybe I'll get that <laughs> shit waxed a little bit. Nah, but anyways, we're here. Kinda looks like a gay porn, but nobody's fucking so <laughs> This is this is when the UFC terminates my employment. I probably shouldn't say that, but Chris Curtis, he's almost on weight. He's not being a pussy. I respect that. Yeah, that is that. So I'm out here looking like one of the village peoples. I told myself I'm gonna be doing some off-roading. I don't want to get all muddy and dirty, so I took off my pants. And what happened was I broke my bike like 45 minutes on that fucking mountain. So I just had a ride 45 minutes on this man's motorcycle, looking like one of the village peoples. That's yeah, good. Soaking wet, bikes on the side of a fucking mountain somewhere, and yeah, fucking gonna be a fun new year. I'm gonna come here. Oh, 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 and the beloved Sean Strickland. Always great to see you. Ellen, I thought since you got married, you start wearing more clothes to the gym. I thought we had to talk about this. You got to discipline her, bro. Make the woman put on some clothes when she comes to the gym. Well, last time I wore like a half cut shirt yeah, when I interviewed. Yeah. Well, Today saying, it's the Smo. full. It's time. It's time to fucking discipline a little bit, Smo. <laughs> nah, I'm sure. You guys, I've never hit a woman. 
Now, have I been hit by a lot of women? Yes. Have I deserved it? Yes. Well, hey, all the fans can't wait because the cat. We need to go out to the desert alone. We need to go out there. <laughs> Whoever's going to film it, we'll go out there. We won't be around any witnesses. It'll be just us other than the camera person. And we'll go out there in the desert. That's where we need to go. And have the pets that we get. Yo, Detroit Tactical, I just seen what you said, man. You said you would meet me in the desert. I will make you a deal next week, the following week, whenever you're free. I will buy your plane ticket. I will put you in whatever hotel you want. I will go take $100,000, $200,000 in cash, and I will put it in the sand, and you can have that money, and all you got to do is beat me. Just say win, man. I promise you, we will do this whenever you want. The thing is, dude, you're a fraud. You're a phony. You're a con artist. You know you are. I know you are. And if you want to man up and show the world that maybe you're legitimate, next week, the following week, plane ticket, hotel, transportation, $200,000 on the ground. That's the easiest money you'll ever find. Um, well, thank you. All right, continue. God damn it. You know. Um, what were your feelings walking into the fight? Your walkout song. Oh, you have any feelings? I have no feeling. Here's the thing, guys. You shouldn't think. When you're, doing, when you're trying to kill a man, you should have no thoughts. It should just be focusing on the task at hand of trying to kill a man. That's what you're doing. Yeah, I was trying to focus. But that's a badass song, though, right? Yeah, that's, that's what you walk out to every time. Oh, after I drank this water, I just... Do you need another water? There was a time when you were fighting Izzy, and you felt like you weren't fighting Izzy. Yeah, I know. I thought he was going to be better than what he was. Yeah. yeah. But I think a lot of people didn't give you f***ing credit because a lot of people said, oh, well, Izzy didn't show up. But I watched that. I was there. I was in the very front, and I watched that fight, and I think Izzy showed up, well, and I think it was just your night. You know what it is, you guys? When you're doing the man dance, when you're throwing these little motherfuckers around, like, it is so easy to get knocked out. It is so f***ing easy. I've been knocked out in training. I've been knocked out in fights. It is so f***ing easy. And, you know... I've made some mistakes in the past, but yeah, I'm one of the greatest in the world. You know, one of them, for, at least for now. You know, every dog has his day. Besides Izzy's dog. <laughs> <laughs> you know, after the fight, you guys, he came up to me. I don't like to live in the past. I even forget I have this <laughs> thing. He came up to me and he was like, he's like, and I was like, you know, after fights, you guys, you normally go d to d you know, you try to kill each other, win or lose. It doesn't matter, Alex, anybody. I'm like, hey man, good fight, you know, mm. you, good war. So I gave, I gave Izzy the, the benefit of the doubt. He's like, you talk shit on my family. I would never do that to you. But you didn't talk shit about us. And I was like, Izzy, I don't even know your family, dude. I, I have no idea. And he pointed at his neck and he was talking about his fucking dog. And I'm just like, God damn it, Izzy. But you didn't, you didn't say anything. I wasn't, wasn't... I wasn't attacking your, your, first of all, your dog's not your family. But I wasn't attacking your dog. I was defending your dog. That fucking dog is a victim. You were fucking <laughs> him off, man, and mouth feeding him. Fucking Pete needs to get involved. I wasn't. I'm attacking you, not the puppy. <laughs> All right, continue. <laughs> what was that? You guys we got one more page. Contest with me. I'm trying to tell you, fucking Helen, that I got to make weight now. Well, that's why you didn't bring the dog today. Oh, fucking hey, man. Let's fucking go. You know. Now I'll do an egg roll here. That's Chinese, right? Egg rolls. I mean, depending on what time. Have you ever interviewed uh, Izzy? Yeah. Okay, how, how's that? Do you guys speak Cantonese together? How's that? You guys go out to lunch afterwards and use chopsticks? Funny enough, you guys, I'm going to tell you a true story. And this is a little little insight with me and Izzy. So I see Izzy before Drykus, you know, before Drykus beats Whitaker. And I, you know, I call him a Chinese <laughs> Not 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 because, not because I'm trying to be a dick. I'm just trying to say how it is. And then I'm like, like, why are you, why are you kind of mad at him, bro? You, you, you swore allegiance to her motherland. Why are you mad at him? And then the guy starts speaking fucking Cantonese to me. And like, you know, the people bleach their ass too. Yeah, no, I know that. I know that. Yeah. 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 Have you ever been having sex? This is a question for guys. And then like, you'll be having sex, right? And then maybe you'll be like at a hotel with like a mirror. And like, it always makes me laugh because like, you go to a hotel <laughs> and there's like one mirror. And like, uh -huh. like, what else would that be besides a f mirror? Like, you know. Well, I mean, like to get dressed in the morning. Or, so, anyways, you know? you'll be in a certain position. You'll be like just fucking getting it, and then you'll look backwards in the f mirror, and you just got your fucking balls just <laughs> dangling. You got the hairy ass, and it's just like, dude, like. 
Are you looking at yourself in the mirror? Well, well, it's like it's like most men don't see each other from the back. Like, let me tell you guys. Let me tell you guys. You guys understand. There's you don't one, turn around in the mirror like. Like you're one of the, one of the best views on a woman is that like nice little back. You know what I'm saying? You guys understand this. Yeah, you know, it's like that nice little black back. So, back, you know, like the like the ass crack. Yeah, like, no, it's like when a woman's bend over and you got that nice little back. Right. Okay. Okay. So, but the but it doesn't work like that way with men. Oh, you guys don't have a back. So when you're when you're hitting it, well, right? I mean, you could. If you and you're in a hotel and you look back and you see the mirror and you got your big old hairy ass and your fucking balls just <laughs> sagging. It's just like it's not a view you want to see. So like the male back. It's just the nutsack. Just dangling, just fucking like a dangling. But yeah, anyways, you guys, it's not a good view. So, you know, if you're gonna be fucking by the fuck mirror, you just gotta make sure to be. Just turn around. Turn around, <laughs> just turn yeah. Turn around. I uh, continue the right things you grab it. I'm not saying you gotta fuck off to it, guys, but that's what you want to do when you kill something. You can fuck off to. That's not my cup of tea. I don't like to kill. Shit, but hey, if that's what you're into, that's what you're into. I mean, sometimes it feels nice to stab things. You know, I've never stabbed a person yet, but one day. When it's justified. Well, you know what? Justification really is a, that's a fickle thing. You know, it depends on the witnesses. I right up in here. Yeah. It's tough. No, look at the, f***ing, look at the. Sean, me... why, why are your feet so dirty? No, I'm going to explain. Sean. You. I'm going to explain to you. No, you gotta look at the toe. I gotta explain to you what's going on with the toe. Sean, you have like gangrene or something. So, first of all, guys, D let me tell you why I have man feet. The women out there, I'm sure there's not many that, that watch her because not many want to see other women's titties, but for the women out there, if you look so at your man's disgusting. foot and they look like little princess feet, he's not a fucking man. My feet look like that because I was breaking a Mustang, I was wearing sandals, and a horse stepped on my foot. <laughs> I mean, this is a 100% factual story. I was, I'm an idiot for wearing sandals. And when a, when a Mustang, a horse steps on your foot, it doesn't just get off. So you gotta like shove it. So half my toe died. And that is why my toe looks like that. Why did you try to break in a Mustang before a fight? First of all, this happened like years ago. And- So it hasn't healed? No, it's like dead. Like the toe is dead. Continue now. And the same thing happened to this toe too. Like you guys ever notice like half my toe doesn't grow because- yeah, the toilet. Well, I don't know. Hopefully, they fix the toilet. But here's the thing about toilets, you guys. The handle doesn't really mean anything. You just gotta take off the lid and just pull up the plunger manually, and you know. You ever think of getting a bidet? Oh, uh, too gay, honestly. It's like any man, any man who like lets water shoot up their ass. It's kind of, it's kind of gay. So you guys, all my clothes are fucked. I mean, covered in oil. All my jeans are ripped. I have no fucking clothes. They all say UFC, right? So I'm like, you know, I'm kind of a redneck. Let's let's go to the fucking boot barn. That's where the rednecks go. Man, $80 fucking jeans, $60 shirts. Like, how the fuck are you all shopping at the fucking boot barn? I go to Walmart. 200 bucks, dude. 200 bucks. I'm set. Like, three pairs of jeans, shirts, hoodies. Fucking Walmart, man. We don't appreciate the Walmart as much as we should. Let's go. Should be allowed to vote, even though they usually vote wrong. I think women should be allowed to work, but even though you know, eh, eh. but anyways, what I tell you guys, what I tell you guys is, we live in a world owned and run by corporations. Mm -hmm. They have slowly, slowly invaded society, and they have made it virtually impossible for men to be men. And they want to do that. They are slowly stripping men down of, from all masculinity. They're, they're slowly turning men into fucking women. And they're doing a damn good job about it. So all that happened when women went to the workforce, men made less, we have less control over our children, and we're letting the system raise kids. So we're creating these mindless consumers. So we can all look at me and say, oh, Sean is sexist. He doesn't want women to work. No, I fucking love America. When I walk around this fucking world and I see this TikTok generation, this is a direct correlation to women working. Raising fucking lady boys. Just got done snowboarding, got to the gym, I'm gonna spar. Let me tell you guys why I'm the coolest fucking MMA fighter. You know what, like say you got a, you got a favorite MMA fighter like Izzy or somebody, you know what? 
Like, you just can't go train with that guy. You can't hit that motherfucker up and be like, hey, man, I'm a fan. I want to come spar you. But me, on the other hand, you hit me up and like, yo, I'm in Vegas. I want to come fucking spar you. I'm like, man, roll through. I'll give you that fucking work, right? Like, I'll be in San Diego this weekend, and I'll give you that fucking work. You just got to hit me up. That's why I'm the coolest fucking man. Hey, what's up, man? I'm here with, who are you? Alex Monahan. Fucking odds jam. This man hits me up, betting, right? Betting. This man hits me up. He's like, bro, can I get an interview? And I'm like, eh. He's like, I will fucking pay you. So this man is paying me to do an interview, which sucks now, because now this is my new interview guy, man. What is done cannot be undone. So odd jam, I don't know what it is, it's betting, but this is the fucking man. Let's go, dude, you ruined it for everybody else. I hope you're fucking happy. Sorry, Smo, no more. I can't say that because we really know who his Sorry. identity is. He's Sorry. probably waterborne. We'll He's probably waterborne in we'll we'll Paris we'll with a black that. mask. Yeah, cut that. Um, <clears throat> did you think saw Jared Cannonier? What did you think? <laughs> I'm fucking I'm fucking sick, you guys. Dude, I told you I'm, I'm fucking. Sorry. I'm here to do you the fucking interview. <laughs> No, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. He, he yeah. was really happy for my win. You know, I'm fucking, he made weight, you know. Yeah. He's, he's a good, Jerry's all those guys who were like. You know, I'm just pulling up to the gym, Valentine's Day. I got a question for you, men. I know some men out there, and you guys make me fucking sick. But some of you guys would be like, I have a girl who is a friend. I am hanging out with said girlfriend. You're not fucking this chick. So what the fuck are you guys doing? Like, what do you guys fucking talk about? When you're sitting there at lunch, like, like what the fuck are you doing, man? You make me fucking sick. So, this isn't Marvin's blood, but it's somebody's blood. I'm a happy guy. You know, Kurt does not impress me often, but he got his first uh, Twitter suspension, man. Fucking good job, man. So you guys, I'm out here in Colorado training. I've had a long coffee, i got a long drive. It's National Women's Day. So I just want to give a big, big message to the women and the men. Women, you guys are soft, you're weak, you're compassionate, you cry a lot, a lot. You guys cry a lot. Bad training sessions, you fucking cry. It's weird. But women, we fucking need you women. Because if right now all the women were to vanish, straight fucking cannibalism tomorrow. Like, if all the women were gone, I would eat you motherfuckers. Straight eat you motherfuckers. Alex Jones style eat you motherfuckers. So we need the women to keep us in check. But men, on National Women's Day, more importantly, stop becoming fucking women. Let the women be women, you guys. Let them be the soft and weak ones and us be the fucking men. That's my message to you men and women. You know what? I had a lot of coffee. I don't want to get too political, but fucking Chris Curtis said some shit. You fucking liberal. He said that I should trust the government and other news sources. You motherfucker. What did we find out in the last two months? We found out that the, the lab leak theory, 100% real, that uh, the media and government colluded to suppress the story. Yeah, we found that out. What else did we find out? Oh yeah, the FBI was embedded in, embedded in Twitter, silencing all voices. The government was silencing voices of people they didn't like. So when I hear the FBI director come out and say, hey, we had people in the mob, but they weren't antagonizing the riot, you were full of fucking shit. I bet they were on the front lines. I bet they were the first one through the fucking doors. This fucking, the leadership of this country, Democrats and Republicans, are fucking treasonous fucking traitors. Fucking I hear some bikes, got some grease on the face. And I got some shit to say, and I know I fucking shouldn't say it, but I, I like, I'm so compelled to say it, I can't stop myself. That girl that died, fucking tragic, man. I feel so bad for her family, having to wake up to that. Really fucked up. People die all the time like that, it's really fucked up, and tragic. Anyways, what Dana White did, fucking touching. Found the journal, posted about her, fucking amazing, right? But... All you bandwagon guys, and this is where I'm going to get a little bit of hate for this one. All you bandwagon guys posting a picture of her saying, you know, I know your name. I dug a little deeper. And I'm going to tell you guys, she wasn't that fucking good. Three and two, coming off a loss with one and one record. And this is going to sound fucked up, but this is just facts. If you didn't die, no one would have known your fucking name. Now, that's fucked up, I know you guys, but you bandwagon motherfuckers looking to get likes for her post, you guys are also fucked up. So I had to get a uh, feeling replaced. But you guys, I don't care about a couple hundred bucks. I don't care about a couple thousand bucks. I don't think about that. I'm in a good place in my life. But, but, 
there was a point in my life in the not so distant past where I was missing a tooth right here. And I had a choice, I had a choice. Go spend 2,500 bucks at the dentist with a fountain and all the fancy shit, or walk around like a hillbilly. And honestly, I just couldn't fucking afford it. So I walked around like a hillbilly for a lot of fucking years, man. I had chipped front teeth, I had to walk around like a hillbilly. And what I'm saying, this isn't a sponsorship plug, but I'm saying you, for my people, my fucking people that watch me, if you could find a better deal on a dentist, let me know and I'll stop recommending my guy and I'll go straight to your guy. That's all I'm trying to say. So if your teeth are fucked up, man, don't live life like that. Go get fixed. I'm here at Hollywood Dental. What's up, guys? I make a lot of money now. I'm not broke. I'm not poor. But I don't want to pay for your fountain in your lobby. This guy, man, he always gives me a fair deal. <laughs> so if you need dental and you grew up like me, I grew up in the Inland Empire, bro. <laughs> I had like a communal toothbrush. You know, I my parents had a 30... 30% interest rate on the new car they can't afford. I didn't have dental. Now I can afford it. But if you're like me, dude, you grew up with some fucked up teeth, you know, check this guy out, man. I can't give you Hollywood smoke. All right, guys, bad news and good news. So I just got to the studio, and I'm going to tell you right now, they put a couch in here. This is not okay. And I'm not I'm not opposed to catching cou casting couches, but I just don't want two dudes on my casting couch. Maybe two chicks. I don't mind it. <laughs> yeah, fucking. <laughs> so what we're going to do, what we're going to do, we're going to do things right. You know, we're going to make our own little studio. We're going to do it right. It's going to be better. We're going to bring Mexican Jamie. Woo! We're going to bring Curtis the Shield. It's my fucking show. We're taking control of the podcast, and we're making our own, man. We're going to get out of this whack-ass fucking room. We're taking control, man. So thank you, guys. We're postponing until next week. We'll be back soon, guys. I promise. Sorry about that. This guys done training. I'm here at my shield, Chris Curtis. Anyways, you guys, we're, we're, we're doing a podcast tomorrow. Chris Curtis is probably going to talk about his love of Bud Light and tucking underwear. But and the French. And the French. Don't and love the there. French. Well, give me some ideas. Give me some shit. Comment. I'm just going to run my mouth. You know, I got some shit to say, so give me some more ideas, Happy guys. Happy Juneteenth. Happy Juneteenth. Let's fucking go. I don't know why Ruffin's in here. He's a pussy. Solution. Good as new. This is the shit I'm talking about, you guys. Fucking little toy car that says Bronco. Don't buy this shit, you kid. Fucking brainwash and go buy a fucking car that can't afford it. I just did a podcast with Don Fry. And the fucking guy gave me his hat. But the crazy thing is, the moment I put this hat on, my fucking nuts just get instantly bigger. I'm a strong. Don't forget the Gatorade. Not sponsored. Oh. Oh, so hey guys, fucking. My boat is broken on the side of the road. Officers trying to help me out here. If you want a boat, if you want a boat, you guys, you can fucking have a boat. I might be here till tomorrow. You gotta make these guys feel like pussies to make them work. If not, they just stay on their back the whole time. You might send us a girlfriend. You guys don't fucking labor. Oh, 
Get out. Damon, why don't you put a fucking finger just so he understands? One little finger. Yeah, bro, like, it doesn't matter if you lose. It matters when you quit. When you have your back and you have a 30 seconds on the clock and you're just sitting there holding on, that's you mentally quitting. Going up to the fucking... <laughs> no fucking car after the gym. <laughs> Motherfucker. Yeah, I got you better there, bro. Ah! <laughs> fucking angry! Stuck in customs. Hey, I'm out here at the gun store. What's your name, boss? Alfredo. Alfredo, man, he's out here shooting. Anyways, got Manly. I just talked to the UFC, and they pretty much said I'm fucked. I'm out of luck. So some 205ers out there, Dominic Reyes. I don't know anybody out there that wants a piece. Maybe, maybe we handle this shit at 205 because that division's open for some. Call do you buy yourself? I'm a better man now. So guys, I'm on my way to training. And I just found out Bud Light's a new sponsor. And goddamn, I applaud you guys. I am so fucking proud of you guys for doing the right things after that fuck up. You know how I feel about transgenders. I go fucking hard. Just what I do. I am the biggest advocate of biological females. If I said my views on transgenders, I would get kicked off Instagram. But I could not fucking wait to pick up a big old fucking Bud Light can and fix you, Bud Light, because you guys are doing the right fucking thing. I, Sean Strickland, a representation of the American people, are going to fix you, Bud Light. Thank you for giving me money. Thank you for supporting my platform. I'm going to help you guys. I had to take a forced vacation and let the stitches come out of my foot. But anyways, man, it's fucking weird. I've always been kind of pseudo-famous, but now everywhere I go, someone recognizes me. And even today, it happened like three or four times. Someone will ask me for a picture and then apologize for asking me for a picture. But in the day, guys, man, I don't have a fucking job. I don't lay concrete. I'm not a fucking mechanic, dude. I'm just a guy that hits people. So, like, I am so fucking grateful that you guys watch me because my life, my bike, everything I fucking have is because you guys fucking watch me, man. So it's not an inconvenience and fucking, I am fucking so grateful for you guys allowing me to have a good fucking life.